Auto Obsessed here. Mini polishers. Why do detailers use them? What problems do they solve? And what is the desired result after a surface has been polished with a mini polisher? In this video, we'll discuss how we as professional detailers evaluate a mini polisher and review the new Rupes HLR75 Mini Hybrid Polisher. Let's say we're detailing a vehicle. Maybe it has some intricate bodywork or aerodynamic surfaces, or even some narrow pillars, like narrow A pillars perhaps. The paint on those areas are subjected to the same marring and wear as the rest of the body. It starts looking dull and needs to be corrected. And with the standard size polishers, five or six inch pads, they're obviously too big to fit. We need a mini polisher with a two or a three inch polishing pad. That's the size that's gonna work with these small narrow areas. Several manufacturers have developed mini polishers so there's a number to choose from. And when we look at a mini polisher, the first and foremost important quality we care about is effectiveness. Whether or not the machine can do the job we need it to do. The Rupes HLR75 is compact, it's practical to use, it's small so it can get into those tight areas that we need it to. Even though the HLR75 is cordless, it actually has plenty of power to help with heavy correction. And we found it's actually more powerful than the corded LHR75E and the pneumatic LHR75. Rupes also made some changes with the motor on this machine and it actually has more torque at low speeds compared to the LHR75. Ergonomics, how does it feel and is it convenient to use? Well, for its weight, it's actually extremely lightweight. It only weighs 1.1 kilogram. It's lighter than any corded mini polisher so you can polish for longer without actually feeling fatigued. Another thing we notice when using this it is quieter when you compare it to other machines. The change in design has not seemed to increase how loud the machine is, but in fact, Rupes has lowered the overall sound. It's quite quiet, not hard to listen to. You still probably want to use hearing protection just as a safety practice, but it's not a loud machine by any means. And it's very smooth, especially when you're using the Rupes pads. There's little to no vibration. Now the machine at first look absolutely looks unusual. That was my first response. Anyone that's seen it, they, they come up with the same response. But when you pick it up, you'll realize why Rupes actually went to this design. It's extremely comfortable. The speed controller and the trigger is actually in the middle of the machine to make it really easy to make adjustments while you're polishing. The trigger is like one you'd find on a pneumatic machine. So it's got that same trigger and you just put your hand on it. You press the trigger, it keeps the motor energized, you let go, it stops. So this is kind of a safety feature as well in case the machine gets dropped or maybe falls out of your hand, it'll automatically shut off. The battery position is back and above the polishing head, so it's easy to manipulate the machine around the area being polished without worrying about the battery hitting or touching the vehicle. Having a full 360 degree view around the polishing pad is nice too. You can really see what you're doing without craning your neck around to see under a big machine body. With a unique design, one-handed use is possible without losing control, pad pressure, and pad positioning. It takes a little getting used to, and you probably want to operate the machine with two hands most of the time, but if you're polishing an awkward area, you could do it with one hand. One downside that we found was the style of trigger that it uses. So it's easy to turn the machine on unintentionally. So when you're picking it up, or if you uh, have it upside down to put compound on it, the trigger's a little bit sensitive. So just picking it up, or when you have it upside down, it's pretty easy to touch that trigger. So you're gonna wanna get into the habit of turning the machine off. So on the speed dial, zero, zero's off. You can hear a click, so it's pretty obvious and put that on before you're putting it down to prevent any mishaps. The last thing we look at when buying a polisher or carrying it in our store is after sales support. Rupes has a one year warranty on this machine and they have an incredible after warranty service. 
where you simply pay a flat rate and the machine gets sent back to the factory for repairs. Spare parts for the Rupes machines are easy to find and are available from Rupes and we also sell the most common needed parts and accessories. The backing plate and polishing pads for the HLR75 is the same as the earlier 3 inch Rupes machines so it's easy to find replacements. We sell all the pads and the backing plates as well. What's in the box when you buy a new Rupes HLR75 Mini Hybrid Polisher? The HLR75 comes with two 18 volt batteries and one battery charger. They're a 2.5 amp hour battery. The batteries charge in about 30, 35 minutes and they last for about 40 to 45 minutes. So as you're working and using the charge from one battery, the other one is charged and ready to go and you're never stuck waiting for a fresh battery. The Rupes HLR is currently sold in two versions. We have a standard kit and that includes the polisher, two batteries and the charger. The HLR75 beta kit comes with everything here. So you get the polisher, two batteries, a charger. We get the interface pad. Comes with two compounds. We have the heavy compound and the light compound. Two microfiber towels. We have two wool pads. We have the heavy pad and the light pad. has two foam pads. We have the heavy pad and the light pad. And it all comes in this sustainer box. So you have everything you need to start polishing. In the near future, Rupes will also be releasing a corded adapter as well for the HLR75. So it can be used as a cordless or a corded polisher, which is a huge plus. Here's an overview of the three inch Rupes machines. So starting with the LHR75, this is a pneumatic only machine. It's the lightest of the three. It has the least power of the three. It has better ergonomics than the LHR75E. It has very similar ergonomics to the HLR75. It's the smallest of the three. It has little vibration. It has a 15 millimeter throw, so it's the largest of the three. This machine is most suited for body shops or maybe shops that have large air compressors and want to use pneumatic machines. The LHR75E, this is the electric corded version. It's heavy compared to the cordless version. It's the second most powerful. It has a traditional form factor with a locking trigger. The speed controller is on the back. It's the largest of the three machines. It's not as smooth as the HLR or the LHR pneumatic, but in its class, it's smoother than most other machines. This one has a 12 millimeter throw. This one's most suited for enthusiasts and professionals. The HLR75, the electric cordless corded version, it's the most powerful, it has the best ergonomics, it's the smoothest, it has a 12 millimeter throw, and this one's most suited for mobile detailers and professionals. The Rupes LHR75 along with all the Rupes lineup can be found in store or online at autoobsessed.com. We've also added the links for the products below to make it easier for you. Let us know what your thoughts are on the new Rupes LHR75 and if you have any questions on the machine or the Rupes polishing system, we'd love to hear them in the comments below. Please help us bring more detailing content to you by giving us a like, leaving us a comment below and subscribing to our channel. And thank you for watching.